1628 Model T. Um, custom made from the ground up. Frame was custom built out of 2x4 box. It uh, goes into a coil, coil setup in the rear. Uh, four link style setup in the rear also. Front, you can see it has the drop four inch bar with all suicide style steering, which pretty much just means what it used to mean. Uh, actually works pretty damn good. Um, the front brakes are 48 through 52. Everything inside's new. Shoes, uh, all the spring parts, all that stuff's new. New wheel cylinders, new hoses, new lines. Um, everything is painted gloss black on the frame and the body itself is a hot rod matte black which isn't quite flat, isn't quite shiny. Kind of in between. Uh, here's the rest of that suicide style steering. You can see that there. If you come around to the side, goes into a reversed steering box with a custom bracket made for it. Um, those headlights are six inch Dites headlights. They are brand new. They also, right below the headlights, there's LED turn signals that also work as flashers. Uh, radiator is more like a 32 style. That's why the radiator cap is off to the side. Um, 302 pretty much stock other than being bored 30 over just to put new rings and stuff in it uh, refreshed all new gaskets the whole deal wanted to keep it stock since the thing only weighs about 1800 pounds stock still flies in this thing um, has a serpentine setup so you get rid of all those v-belt squeals and you only have to run one belt and not three uh, there's the master cylinders corvette style brand new you can tell all the lines are brand new just been bent uh, here's the front windshield, has a clear polycarbonate windshield in it. It also has all new hardware, some of it's chrome, the rest of it's painted black like the rest. Body's in really good shape, uh, had to do some patch panels in it, but everything other than that, uh, the whole floor's been rebuilt, um, of course, because it's got a five and a half inch body drop. Uh, you can see the roof is has a vinyl um, top built onto it. Pretty much it uh, snaps on three sides and it has a slide in the front where it slides to, from one side to the other to take it completely off. That way the wind doesn't get underneath it and the rain doesn't get underneath it. Um, door handles are painted gloss black to kind of offset the flat black or matte black. Um, all the rest of the windows are polycarbonate also. Um, they are tinted. Uh, the bed is a 51 style F1 bed, kind of built off the same specs, just a little shorter and a little not as deep since the car sits so low. Um, the wheels are 22 inch, 180 spoke wheels. Uh, they are coated the same as the car. They also have the red center caps. Some people call them the juicer style center caps. I also have a set of T-bar caps. Uh, the rear bumper is made to look just like the side trailing arms and also the front crossover bar for the suspension. Tail lights are 51 Ford style tail lights also. You can see the rear window has not been shortened. That way you can still see out of it. I know the videos and the pictures that everybody else has seen doesn't really show the passenger side because it was done doing a photo shoot. Uh, here's the other side. Looks same as the driver's side. This is a driver. It does have a couple little nicks and scratches here and there, but nothing really even noticeable. I just noticed them because I'm the one to build it. Um, you can look on the inside here. All the door latches and all the windows all work correctly. They roll up and down. Got some stuff in here. As you can tell, the inside is all in good shape. has an all-in-one style speedometer with all the gauges and everything on it. Everything works. To the right of it is the choke and the igniter for the flamethrowers. And then your headlight switch and your um, ignition. It's all black carpet inside. Black and red vinyl. Seats are brand new. Um, Lap belts are all brand new. As you can see, the top matches the inside. Took a lot of time to make sure everything fit right and was right. 
All the trim around the windows are all, well, new or been renewed. Um, pretty hard to find all that stuff these days. Um, the windows roll up and down. Let me go ahead and show you that. Window cranks have been moved. As you can see, the window goes up and down very easily. Let me go ahead and start it while we're out here. As you can see, it starts without even choking it. Not very loud, it does have the auger style exhaust pieces in there to try to quieten it down a little bit so you can still drive it on the street. Never really been pulled over in it other than to take pictures. And uh, I mean, that's it. It's a 1928 that's been pretty much resurrected. Uh, if you have any questions, send me an email. Thanks.